Hello everyone, Jazz the Gamer here, back with another episode of Jazzy Craft. And you are looking at the uh, little landscaping we did in the last episode here. But today we are going to do something a little different. We are going into the nether to do some building. Yes, we're going to go into a dangerous territory, which we are trying to take over and own for ourselves. What are we going to do today in the nether? Well, we are going to, one, work on the tower that we've been working on, on my streams called the Nether King, if you have not seen it every Monday at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time and we're also going to build a blaze farm that is the main topic for today's um, episode a blaze farm because we need lots of fuel because coal is just not working for us uh, we use coal for other things in this world uh, mainly trading because the villagers love it but we need something for fuel to burn all of the cobblestone that we will need for our builds and what else we may need it for so let's hop on over to the nether right now all right so we are at the nether fortress i have done a little bit of work in this area um as soon as we get up here we may have to fight may not uh, oh yeah we do uh, we're going to ignore these guys for now uh, we need to get straight to business so if we come back this way uh, there should be a blaze farm not there there might be one around this corner up these stairs and over huh this way here it is so we need to put some light around here to hopefully stop these guys from spawning. I know that sometimes even though you put light, they still spawn. But we need to clear all this out and then we will start building. Uh, we're going to use the same, uh, see he still spawned, I don't know why. We're going to use the same um, building or same farm built by Shulkercraft. Um, for more detail, you can uh, check out um, that video or his video or her video and to see how it is built and uh, once I finish I will show you the end product
AFK farm is all done and ready to go. Uh, eventually, I will clear up all this other stuff around here to make it little, look a little better. But for now, we are going to go down to the bottom and do a little bit of AFK for about 30 minutes so that we can see how many drops we get of blaze rods. Uh, we have sharpness 5 and looting 3 and also repair this pickaxe that we were using to um, build or yeah to build so what I'm going to do is one make this area close it off make it a little secure put a door and then stand here for 30 minutes and see what we get kill some of these guys to see how many drops we get and how much experience we can get as far as refilling or repairing our pickaxe right here right now it is at 604 out of 1561 so let's start one thing I don't have on this sword is sweeping edge I need to add that All right, so our pickaxe is fully repaired, and we still have a couple more of these guys in here to kill. So let's get these guys out of the way and check our chest. All right, so majority of them are all done. Let's get this last guy here. And oh, this guy, too. well, they're just going to keep falling. So there we go. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, we have two stacks and they are still coming in. Oh, no, two stacks plus nine. All right. So in 30 minutes, we should have six stacks here somewhere. Yeah, this is six. Six stacks and probably almost seven. That's pretty good. And as you can see here, I did build the door right here to make ourselves a little safer and we're going to put the uh what is this called again nether war blocks all throughout this area walking path here so that nothing spawns in this area we don't want anything waiting for us um to kill us as we come out all right guys thank you for joining me on this episode here of building our blaze farm so we can get more fuel for all of our uh, smelting purposes if you did enjoy it please like subscribe and leave a comment and until next time whoop 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 Adios. Bye.